Hi, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel, JK Star A Reader. So for today, I'm doing a Friday Reads. These are the books I want to get to this Friday and into the next week. So if you've seen any of my recent videos, you might be able to tell that I am actually a, a mood reader. So I changed my mind on what I read even though at the beginning of me each month I have uh, decided to decided on a list of books to read for each month. And so yeah, so I decided to go back to a book I already started uh, a few months back and so that book it is The Force of Stolen Girls by Jun Her. So I actually read the first book by Jun Her, and that was The Silence of Bones. And so that took place in uh, Joseon era Korea. And so this is also set in that time period. And it follows a, a detective. So yeah, I'll read you a little bit of what it says in the inside flap to give you a sense of what it, the book is about. So here it goes. So it says, 1426. Joseon. Hawaii's family has never been the same since she and her younger sister went missing and were later found unconscious in the forest near a gruesome crime scene. Years later, Detective Min, Hawaii's father, learns that 13 girls have recently disappeared from the same forest that nearly stole his daughters. He travels to their hometown on the island of Jeju to investigate, only to vanish as well. Determined to find her father and solve the case that tore their family apart, Hawani returns home to pick up the trail. Uh, there's a little bit of more to what it says, but uh, hopefully that gives you a, a good sense of what the book is about. I am intrigued. I actually started the, reading this a few months back and I am about 50 pages in so I look forward to reading the rest of the book. So the next book I have it is The Best Laid Plans by Terry Fallis. Even though on my channel I tend to focus on fiction titles, I am actually really interested in uh, non-fiction titles as well, uh, particularly with those uh, about uh, federal politics in Canada. And so this one uh, is a fictional and, and satirical look at what uh, being part of federal, politi poli federal politics means. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I actually started this book uh, the last time Canada had a federal election. And even though there is still some time um, in until the next one, I've decided uh, that it, this is a good time to go back to this book. Um, I read a fair amount of the book already. I am about a hundred pages in and so hopefully I'll be able to get more of this read this time around. I actually uh, was um, not sure if I wanted to include this book on my TBR. But I decided it is time to uh, go back and read the rest of the book. So I have uh, another book to show you and that book is The Book of M by Peng Shepherd. I know Peng Shepherd has a new book out and that book is The Cartographers. And so while I don't have that one yet, I have this uh, debut uh, novel from a few years ago to read. And so I this is a literary sci-fi novel and it deals with a pandemic. So uh, that makes it a timely read even though uh, there are definitely um, fictional elements. Of, this is uh, definitely a fictional story. And so um, I'll just uh, read a little bit of what it says in the inside flap to give you a better sense of what the book is about. So here goes. So it says, One afternoon at an outdoor market in India, a man's shadow disappears, an occurrence that science cannot explain. He is only the first. The phenomenon spreads like a plague, and while those afflicted gain a strange new power, it comes at a horrible price, the loss of all their memories. 
Hiding deep in the woods of Virginia, Ori and his wife Max have escaped the forgetting until one day Max's shadow disappears too. Knowing that the more she forgets, the more dangerous she will become to Ori, Max runs away. But Ori refuses to go up the time they have left together. So yeah, so there's a bit of a um, love story to the book as well. So I look forward to reading this. I think I featured this book in a previous video before, but I didn't have a chance to read the book yet. So hopefully this time around, I'll be able to get to it. And this part of the video, uh, at this part of the video, I have a little a mini haul to show you. It's only just one book, but it's a book that I've been excited about ever since I heard that it uh, would be published uh, this uh, past few weeks. So uh, the book is All the Seas of the World by Guy Gabriel K. So I am actually already reading a book by Guy Gabriel K, and that is the first book in the Fiona Var tapestry that was uh, published in the 1980s. Although uh, Guy Gabriel K has released uh, several books since, I haven't read anything else by him. So now that there is a new book out, um, I am interested in getting to this as soon as I can. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, get to the end of the Fiona Navarre tapestry soon. But if not, I'm okay with starting a new book by Guy Gabriel K while in the midst of, uh, of um, an earlier series by this author. So that is it for me for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another time. Bye!